Welcome to the Mayor Show. We have a public announcement today that's very, very important to all those in Ben Salem. And we have with us our Director of Public Safety, Fred Hiron, to talk about it. Uh, I think tomorrow, well, the date of today is the 11th, I believe, February Correct. 11th. Yep. Uh, so on the 12th, we start. We'll be actually uh, the 13th. On yep. the 13th with body cameras. So I'll have Fred work, talk about this. Our police will be wearing body cameras for the first time here in Ben Salem. And uh, I'll let Fred give us some thoughts of how it works. And uh, it's new to me also. So we have here a device in front of us, the camera itself. So Fred, if you tell us a little bit sure. how this is going to work. Uh, this has uh, been in the works for a little bit now. Uh, we wanted to go to body cameras. A lot of, uh, a lot of America is starting to go to body cameras. And this is just another way to uh, ensure the people that they can feel comfortable while they're engaged with the police. Uh, part of the whole transparency. It's a very, very simple device. It's a very small device. But this Wednesday, we'll be starting off on the 13th with a, uh, one of our squads. And once we kind of work out any of the kinks and any of the logistical issues we might have with it, then the rest of the patrol division will be going to body cameras it within seems, the next month I or so. It seems small. Hold it up. It seems small, but it's, it is pretty big. Now, where will that fit? That'll How be right uh, center of their uniform. It's oh, held together center. held together by a magnet. I could actually do it oh, on my I tie. Uh, and then there's a switch on top. Just put it on. It's fairly simple. And they'll put that on the beginning of the shift, mm -hmm. and it'll stay on, and now it's ready to be recorded. And all it has to be done is tap mm -hmm. twice, and we're recording. So we're recording now. We have all kinds of policies. And then when they shut it off and when they're done recording, you just hold it in, and that, and that goes off. And it goes off. And the reason why it's held in so long is that it can't shut off by accident. So someone doesn't tap it and it shuts right. off. Um, so it's, it's so fairly it's simple. It's going to be mandatory for all it, of our officers? It's going to be mandatory for everybody in patrol and then uh, other officers when they're out serving arrest warrants at plainclothes officers when they're serving search warrants, they'll be wearing body cameras and it'll capture everything. And any engagement with the community, anytime they're in conversation with the community, they'll be having these body cameras on. And the reason why the, we held out for a while, it wasn't until uh, around June of 2017 that the law changed that it allowed us now in Pennsylvania to continue to recording when we're inside a, uh, a house or some other location. Prior to June of 17, we would have to shut them off and officers could actually be held responsible criminally if they left their camera on. So we didn't want to do that. We wanted to wait for the law to change. The law has been changed. The governor signed it. And it's now a law, law that police are allowed to put their body cameras on and keep them on. Now, will each, each officer be issued one of these? That'll um, be his own camera all, These are all, every day? All the uniformed officers. This one is a spare. We have some spares in case some go down mechanical. But every officer that is in uniform will be wearing uh, this body camera while they're engaged with the public. Right. They're working up at the mall on detail, parks, casino, well, wherever I, I, I think my point of it is they're issued a gun, they're issued a they're camera. They're issued these, yes. That's theirs. Correct. That this is theirs. That camera is theirs every day. Every day, this camera is attached to an individual officer, and then it'll download into the computer system, and then we, we save the, uh, the video as needed. So it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, we partnered with Axon. used to be Taser. They're based out of, uh, I believe, Arizona. It's a great company. And we've also put in a grant to help offset the cost to the, to the township. So we're pretty confident we're going to get that funding as well. But uh, the guys and gals, uh, there's no pushback. They're so ready for th it. This camera will be record when it's the recording will go into a computer so that it's forever saved. Is that what you're telling Not me? Not forever. So it's saved for so many days unless it's an, it, unless there's an incident involved with it, an arrest, a citation, um, is Somebody's this evidence used as evidence? This would be used as evidence, yes. This can be used as evidence, depending on the case. Okay. So, well, yes, this could be used. So all arrests, any type of major investigations, this would be stored. But you can't store it's a lot of footage, if you can imagine that's an interaction. I think I've, that's what I was yeah. trying to articulate. Where does all of this go? Yeah, well, we s we'll save the, this. The, when Body First cameras first came out, it cost a lot more money to save the information. The pricing has come down a lot over the years, just like anything else. But you still, you know, for big departments, and Ben Salem's considered a good sized department, um, we have to get rid of fo footage after it's no longer needed. There's no value to it. There's no evidentiary value. There's nothing associated with that video that would be of any use to us. So uh, it would get 
expunged from our system. And you don't know how long that takes. I mean, we don't have a policy to keep it a week or two weeks. We do have a policy. Um, normally, we would keep it, I believe it's five days. Five days. Um, that we would keep, unless there's something associated Incident. with it. Yes. Okay, so uh, after that, it's gone. So they're continuously, obviously, continuously wearing the camera. Yeah. So every day, uh, there's, they're, they're recording. I mean, I can't imagine we have 100 sworn officers. Yeah. Uh, all of that footage uh, on a day. Now the cars had the cameras also. The, the cars and we which only we've had had. That's not new. That's we've had that for oh uh, years. thirteen years plus. Yeah. Um, we were one of the first ones uh, in the county to come out with that. We're not the first with this. There's about seventeen or nineteen departments in Bucks County that are doing this, but we're certainly we're the largest th that has the cameras out there. But we've had no issues with the car cameras, and again, that I believe gets uh, gets expunged within 30 days but there's not as much footage as there is going to be on this obviously we have more encounters because you'll have this on with the car footage too but also when you're in houses when you're making arrests in stores things of that nature in businesses you'll have this on and what's nice about this is there's a lot of times that it goes on automatically so I gave you a demonstration of it going on manually but anytime the taser is removed from its holster a gun is removed from his holster if an officer walks up on another police car that has his body camera on within the first 30 seconds, it'll automatically activate his or her body camera. So the technology is amazing. Um, the technology is amazing, really, for a lot of safe features so that the officers don't forget to put them on and things of that nature. Well, you just showed me how, how this, uh, okay, it's a pretty strong magnet. <laughs> yeah, so that, so it's not going to be knocked off very easily. No, I mean, not knocked it, off easily. No. And that actually will go on their tie? On no, it'll go on their uniform. Yeah, it'll go on the inside of their uniform. uniform. And then the camera just twists off. So when they, this will actually stay on, the camera just twists right off. Oh, and then that okay. goes into the charger and that stays on their okay. uniform. So then they and can just, charge once a day? Uh, yeah, at the end of their shift, it'll charge. It holds a charge all day long, so it uses very little. Believe it or not, you would think it would drain it down, but uh, again, I'm not uh, a techie, but whatever that battery is in there, it's. It's pretty darn good. So, uh, so our officers will start on the thirteenth, Wednesday. Yeah, uh, one 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 squad. It's about fifteen officers. Okay, will start, and we're hoping within a month we'll have everybody. Uh, everybody. But what I wanted the public to know is now that they're going to see officers with this on their chest. Yeah, that's important. Um, what is that? Yeah, and they know it's a body camera because it doesn't tell you it's on, and we don't have to tell you it's on, but it will be on automatically. Okay, so. Uh, another tool in the police department to help our officers and certainly let the people out there know that that our officers are doing the right thing right and and that's what it's about also but it's a safety issue mm -hmm. uh, hopefully uh, we don't get anything happening bad that we have to have cameras on but I know with the car cameras through the years it always recorded stuff that was very very important the, the cameras normally I mean we've had complaints with people you know make complaints about officers uh, you know, about activity or they felt they were mistreated and then you show the car camera and it's not at all what the public or what the person thought and these body cameras are going to do the same thing. You know, we're very lucky here. We have, we have you know, great officers. I don't foresee any issues with us. I think if anything, these things are going to help the officers. Um, you know, we, we're, we're a busy department, so uh, if this captures something, hopefully it'll be used for evidentiary value. And if it ever captures something where somebody's saying an officer did something, it'll be used in a positive way. Well, I know well. myself, I always pride myself and ourselves in giving our police the best equipment yes. to make sure that they can, to, for the citizens here in Ben Salem, and, they, and we do the training and all the mm -hmm. equipment is, is very, very important. In this day and age, uh, every sentence has to have a dot at the end and every T has to be crossed. I mean, it's just the, the way it is. And I think here in Ben Salem, we do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, but so in closing, anything you want to remind the public, anything, uh, it's nothing to fear for sure. No, that's for sure. It's nothing to fear. It's just, you're going to see this uh, piece of equipment that you've never seen on a Ben Salem officer before. So uh, it's just there to protect them and protect them and protect you and protect them and uh, gather evidence for, for court if possible. But it's just another tool in law enforcement. You're seeing this all over the country now where officers are going to body cameras. Uh, it's just the future. I don't, it know, it? Well, I don't know what's next. The future's now. Yeah. yeah, the future's now. Well, Fred, thanks for coming thanks on and giving you. us this update. 
is very important uh, public service announcement. It's very, very important. So when you see this device, you'll know exactly what it is on the officer's uniform. Until next time, everybody, God bless.